Take a sharp ride, and uh, you'd do well to cooperate. There's no sense making this home pleasant now, is there? Look, you can't do this to me. I'm an American citizen. You may be a Yank, but you're in Ireland now, and these two mean business. Better do as he says. That's very sound advice. Well, our car is just outside. Let's go. Quietly. I know we traveled north, went over a trestle bridge. See what's on that. I didn't there. ask for a travel log. And you lied to me. You told me when those two goons that were chasing you left the island, we were out of danger. I'm sure I really, truly thought we were safe. Yeah, it looks like you were wrong, doesn't it? There's so many people you have following you. I don't know. I have no idea who these men are or, or what they want. But the last thing I want is for you to be in danger. We don't want to get what we wish for, do we? All right, agreed. I'll contact you again just as soon as we've finished here. Miss uh, Saybrook, I'd like you to take a short walk with this gentleman, please. Oh, my God. No, I won't let you do it. Oh, now, there's no cause for alarm. I just want to have a few words with Mr. Thorne Park alone. That's no, all. no, I won't go. No, for God's sake, don't hurt her. She's done nothing. Well, what do you want? Why are you here? Who are you? I am Chief Inspector Eamon Quilligan of the Irish Special Branch. What's that? Oh, it's a little like your CIA, miss. Mr. McCann, please. You are Eamon Quilligan? Correct. By the Irish Special Branch, what in God's name's going on? Mr. Thornhart, I'll ask the questions. You answer them. Where did you get the sheet? From a friend, Shalon Connolly. I brought you in contact with her. You've got no right to abduct me, a totally innocent young lady. Treat us like criminals and ask me stupid questions. Lord, I have yeah. every right to ask you any question I like, and you'll answer every bloody one of them. Now, suppose we start with where you got this music, why you're on this island, and why you're looking for me. I'm not a spy, I'm a teacher. And what do I have to do with a special branch? As I've said, Mr. Thornhide, you'll do the answer in the line. What do you teach? Poetry and literature. Trinity College, Dublin. Now, look, man, I'll tell you everything I know, but you've got to leave the young lady alone, all right? Go on. I went to see a friend, Siobhan Connolly, in Belfast. A friend? And yeah, we were dating for a couple of years at Trinity. But she broke it off about eight or nine months ago. I hadn't seen her until... Until this last time in Belfast. Yeah. I went to see her. I went to come back to the hotel. She was shot. She was dying. I tried to call an ambulance, but she said no. gave me the music, and she told me to bring it here, bring it to Innescrag, and to find Eamon Quilligan. I promised her I would. Go on. And she died in my arms, you see. The police were coming, so I ran. Here's your bloody music. Mr. Eamon Quilligan, Irish Special Branch. So you tell me what the bloody hell this is all about. What did you know of Siobhan's activities? <laughs> Gypsy. 
She liked hiking. She liked rock music. Neither one of us could boil a potato and get it right. What does that have to do with the Irish Special Branch? Your girl was a field agent. She joined us about a year ago. It's quite the trouble that uh, her supervisor instructed her to break off her relationship with you. Uh, as a precaution, you understand? I'm sorry, but that's how these things are. I liked Siobhan quite a bit myself. Took her under my wing, as you might say. What did you do after you left Siobhan's hotel in Belfast? Nothing I can find you. Took a long time, you know. I asked around a few places, but no one would give me an answer. And then I found out there was just two guys chasing me. First, I talked to a guard, you are, you see, but they were carrying guns, you know. I think their name was Ivers, and the other was... I, I don't remember. But their names were probably as phony as their badges anyway. Are they still on the island? Oh, no. They left on the afternoon ferry. Do you know who they were? Possibly. So they arrested you, and, and uh, you got away once? No. Margaret, Miss Saybrook, she helped me. She told them some lies, and they believed her. Do you think they were mixed up in Siobhan's death? Hmm? Do you think they're the ones that shot her? I can't discuss that. Uh, what about Miss Saybrook? How much does she know? About Siobhan? Hmm. Nothing. I'd only just met her. I had no idea how much trouble I was in with those two guys chasing me, so I lied to her. What did you tell her? There's a joke, isn't it? I told her I was working for the government, top secret. I told her I was a physicist. Well, as it happens, you have been working for us. And a fine job you've done, too. Well, that's, uh, I think that's it for now. Oh, no, it's not. What's going to happen to Miss Saybrook and myself now? Siobhan Connolly was a patriot. She died for her country. We all owe her an enormous debt of gratitude. Now, I am aware that you cared about her, Mr. Thornhart. As I've said, I did too, but she's gone now. And the best thing for you, for everyone, is to let the special branch handle things from here on. I promise you, her murder will not go unpunished. What about Miss Saybrook? Six years story? You're a physicist working for the government. Top secret. What about the two men, Ivers and, and the other one, where they show back up again? Oh, don't worry. You'll be perfectly safe from here on. Safe? Like Siobhan was safe. Um, a word of caution, however. If you should ever happen to run into anyone carrying a coin or some such, bear in the insignia 21. Be very careful. I. Truly doubt that will happen, but do be aware, won't you? And if you should see anyone carrying a coin like that, notify me immediately or my supervisor, Chief Inspector Bass, at this address. McCann? McCann! Number nine. Not a word. Miss Saybrook, I can't tell you how sorry I am. You've had to be inconvenienced like this. As I said, we're with the Irish Special Branch, and uh, believe it or not, this old place is what we sometimes call a safe house. That's why we couldn't risk you seeing how we got here. And that's why you covered my head with a sack and scared me out. Oh, again, my apologies. Alas, it's not a perfect world we live in now, is it? No, not when a tourist gets a gun stuck in the back. Mr. Thornhart was telling me that you were a bit dubious about him working for our government. Please. Accept my word that it is indeed true. A fine job he's been doing, so. But it's very important that you say nothing about him or his work or what happened here tonight, all right? All right. Thank you. The driver will take you back to the inn now. You might even make it before the rain. Again, my deepest apologies, but yeah, may I say, it has been a pleasure meeting someone so lovely. And you. I hope I never see you again as long as I live. 
didn't tell Thornhart the whole truth, now, did you? Not much longer. If you don't mind my asking, why didn't you take Thornhart in for his own protection? Sir. This is between you and me and those stones over there, my gun. Yes, sir. I don't want to offer him protection. Not yet. Thornhart's much more valuable to us than he is. Valuable. Mm. He's our best hope of smoking out the men of 21. As long as he's walking around, they'll stay on his trail. They know he's got some music, or at least they think he does. So, Thornhart will lead us to the men of 21. That's the hope. Poor man. I was hoping he stays alive long enough to do it. Examine myself for a while. Be careful. So long. So, that taxi out there can uh, take me to the ferry then? That he will. Safe journey. Thank you. Night out there. Good for business, though. I have only one room left. The one just vacated by Miss Saybrook. Well, maybe I better take it. Maybe good night's sleep before I leave for Dublin tomorrow. See what it means? Good for business. Thanks. Until further notice, he said. Oh, what a shame, Miss. I, I know you were counting on getting back to Pennsylvania. I know. Oh, well, um, I guess I'll just have to take my leave back for tonight. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I just this minute rented from Mr. Thornhart. Oh, all right. Well, I'll just take whatever you have. Oh, well, I'm afraid all five rooms are taken, uh, unless the gentleman would consent to. Oh, of course. Where are my manners? You're welcome to stay with me in my room, if you like, Miss April. 